Welcome back to the channel with Loving Life New Yorker. Today we're down at Santa Ponza. We're going to take a little night walk, for a better word. It's just gone 10 o'clock. We're going to have a little walk around, especially around from between the beach here and the, and the square. That's exactly how busy places are, how busy the restaurants are and the bars are. See what the atmosphere is like and so on and so forth. It's going to be a brilliant walk. It's looking absolutely gorgeous here. This, it's been a lovely day so far. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the walk. The sea looks so beautiful and peaceful tonight. Let's go and see how many people are around. So I'm just starting the walk just by the H. Ten Hotel McDonald's. We're going to plan in walking up, getting up to the tree, having a walk on the right-hand side of the tree. See what the restaurants like just up there. As you can see, we've got a few market stall traders just here. Seeing how busy the cafes are, the restaurants, the bars. Coming back to the tree and heading towards the square. See if there's any entertainment tonight at the square. Self portraits from a phone he's doing. Do you know it really is warm tonight? Lovely to see so many people out. It's, it's actually quite busy. I said a few weeks ago this is going to be a, a really busy year. I'd noticed a lot of people, not more people, were in the early part of the season. I love looking at these street markets. And the beach just looks so nice, doesn't it? Just crossing the road now towards Burger King side. Don't forget if you're enjoying these films, please give us a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already, really is appreciated. Give a little bit longer, these restaurants will be really, really packed, won't they? It's about quarter past ten. The bars are busy, aren't they? Marvellous atmosphere here. Nightclub that'd be busy later, won't it? Later on tonight. Oh. 
There's another nightclub upstairs. Green Hills. The old crazy golf's got a, a different kind of atmosphere to it at night. There's people playing now, can hear air hockey. Plenty of people on the pool tables over there as well. So as Ed said so many times, when you've got a camera in your hand, everybody waves and shouts, don't they? Well, it's, as far as I know, there's no pubs open up that way, pubs and clubs. So I'm going to turn around now and head back towards the tree and over to the other side and towards the centre, see what, what's happening at the centre at the moment. basement here, I think this is a nightclub, yeah, nightclub to get busy for the night. Plenty of places selling food of different kinds. There's plenty of bars around. Give it a few hours and this place will be buzzing, won't it, as it were. Sports going on, there's live music as you can hear everywhere. It's an Indian. Plenty of pizzas, places, kebabs, things like that. Another pizza one just here. Just getting now towards the the roundabout game with the tree on it. Tattooist, I mean. Get yourself a jump or a hat printed. At this side of the roundabout, you'll find loads of different shops all selling different things from clothes to tourist things. A few hotels the further up we get towards the square. Apartments, all different things like that. Considering it's well after 10 o'clock, nearly half past 10, there's still an awful lot open, so good atmosphere, people still looking around the shops, buying things. This is one of the pubs, one of the bars you'll find tribute acts, so it's always something to, to watch, to listen to. This is quite busy, isn't it? Well, the inside's ever so busy in there. The other side of the road as well you'll find lots of takeaways and things there well just perhaps you might start want something a bit more busier than what we want over here maybe you'd like some nightclubs well megaloof ain't that far down the road you know you can easily get there by bus and get a taxi back i think it's around about 10 euros each way to megaloof by taxi then you've got your clubs there and your BCM club, the big bars and things. So there's still a few 
coming out of the mad area a little bit. Still a few cafes and restaurants. But I'm gonna take you up now to have a look how busy the um, square is. So we've got any tributes or that sort of thing up there tonight. There's places, plenty of restaurants coming in towards the square. There's the square just ahead of us now. Don't forget, there's also restaurants. There's a little spa shop down there. Plenty of hotels around everywhere now, just around this area. Entertainment every night of the week. See if we've got anything on tonight. Fish and chip shop just there. Plenty of bars here. Little amusement arcade for the um, the onions. Pool tables. Plenty of bars. Just spoken to one of the stall holders, actually a candy floss man, and he was telling me there was no axe until the weekend. But when we came in, there was a, a sign there to say that Axe on around 10 o'clock tonight. It was um, a two-tone madness and all that sort of thing that was supposed to be on tonight. So that was a bit of a shame. I was looking forward to listening to that sort of thing. But it's still a, a pretty good atmosphere I've found so far. But there might not be any live entertainment in here tonight, but there is plenty of uh, music and things going on. A good handful of people up here enjoying a drink, television, sport, that sort of thing. There's definitely not a, a flop tonight, because the actual town itself was busy, wasn't it? Plenty of restaurants and things open, all doing well. So that, this is a square, you can certainly just imagine when this live music is on, how busy it gets, can't you? Hasn't it been a bad evening walk out here? I'm a bit disappointed we're up here, especially as it's saying it's got a, a sign to say there, there is live music tonight, followed by karaoke. But if you look at the bigger picture, the actual town from Burger King, McDonald's, there was quite busy, wasn't it? The high street going up there with the market stalls, and then by the tree where we turn left, that was really busy around there, wasn't it? The restaurants and the shops and the bars and things. That had a good atmosphere. So I'm quite happy, to be honest with you. It was just, it would have been nice if somebody had been on up here in the square. Anyway, later on in the season, who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed today's, tonight's film. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget Facebook group, Love Me Love Mallorca. And I'll leave you to it. Good night for now. Bye-bye.